Hello and welcome to this demonstration where I'll be showing you how Britannica School can support your IB students who are preparing to do their personal projects or extended essays and for you as teachers who are wanting to prepare lesson content that's curriculum related and that can then be shared onto platforms such as Microsoft Teams and Google Classroom. So for those of you who have never seen Britannica before, this is our safe and secure online learning environment. Our editorial team, who is based over in Chicago, Tokyo and London, is comprised of educational experts from the IB curriculum and also the UK curriculum. They have written articles, built videos, and compiled images that are directly related to the IB requirements and they have then been broken up into three related levels that can then be found here in the foundation intermediate and advanced so the foundation area is our area designed for the youngest students aged three up to eleven and for the PYP program the intermediate will be for ages 11 to 16 and the MYP and then also the advanced will be for the IB students doing the diploma. So what I'm going to show you now is some key areas that you need to be looking at and how to use the platform to get the best out of each individual piece of content. So once you click on a particular branch, first and foremost, you're going to want to do a search. So I'm just going to do something quite generic, um, something related to science that is covered in both the NYP and also IBDP. And once you're into here, what's really great about Britannica is we've compiled information um, from articles, images and videos into one user-friendly place. So first and foremost, you'll find images. We've got over 2 million copyright free images. And again, these are all directly related to your search. If we go into videos now, what you will see is a portfolio of over 200,000 um, videos. So if I just go into one of these by random, I'm just going to show you what the students and you as our, um, educators need to be doing. So on here, up at the top, you will see these icons. One of the most important ones for you as an IB teacher is to utilize this citation tool. Once you click on the tick symbol, it will bring up this citation style where you can filter to the four most um, widely used citation methods. From feedback from teachers that I work with currently, um, the most common ones for IB teachers and for IB schools are MLA and APA. So once you click on this particular style, you're then given a pre-structured reference that can be copied and pasted into a bibliography. So this is important not only to promote academic honesty, but so the students can understand what is a reliable source. and when they're preparing to do their major projects um, or their extended essay and when they go into university they will develop these research skills from an early age and that's going to set them in really good stead what's also really good about britannica is that we've integrated with the platforms that you use um, maybe as a school so you can send these videos, articles, images onto Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams. You would just simply choose your particular folder and then that would be sent over as an open URL link that teachers, your colleagues or students can click on. Moving on from there, I'm just going to show you some other areas that are going to be really important. So if I just come back now to my search, what you'd really want to use to expand your portfolio of information if you're finding as a student content for your extended essay maybe click on more and then you can begin to utilize primary sources and ebooks that are provided by project gutenberg and again they're all directly related to your search or you want to go onto this journals tab here where you will find ebooks from ebsco 
For any of you that don't know about EBSCO, this is the world's leading academic journal provider. And with Britannica, we have got a partnership with EBSCO. So in relation to your search topic, this one being cells, you will now see additional resources to support the articles, the images, and the videos. And the students can begin to download these PDFs. They can use this in their extended essays. They can reference from here as well. Or they maybe want to save these journals into their own Britannica area. And we'll come on to that in a moment. So moving on from there, I'm just going to quickly show you some of the key features on the article. And again, this will be important for students and also for you as teachers. So in the article level, again, to promote academic honesty, you should be using this tick symbol. And what's great about the system is that it's remembered your previous reference. So you can quickly copy and paste uh, that reference structure into your bibliography. As a teacher, what you want to be using is this teachers tab here. This is where you can find how does Britannica achieve the curriculum standards of the IB for NYP and for DP. So you click on this teachers tab and what you'll see now is four different curriculum standards. But for you as an IB teacher, you'd want to scroll down and then you can click on International Baccalaureate and you will see now strand by strand exactly what's being achieved in this one particular article. So this is really going to save you time while you're preparing for lessons. So maybe on a weekend, if you're looking through Britannica, you can quickly uh, click on this teachers tab, find where you are in your learning module, in your learning journey, see if this article is relevant for the class, and then you can begin to save this in your My Britannica area. And I'll show you again how to do that in a second. What's really nice about this particular feature is that there is an extension of this in your teacher's area. So if you're a newly qualified teacher, or your school has just uh, received its IB certification and you're still getting to grips with the curriculum in general, what you can do in this teacher's area is now do an entire international baccalaureate curriculum search. So once you click on the international baccalaureate standards, from here you can choose a subject. So I'm just gonna do humanities and social sciences by random, and let's go on to the IBDP grade 12. Once I click on view results, what's really nice now is that I'm seeing the entire curriculum for these particular parameters. And then underneath each strand, you will see related articles. So you can now scroll down and you can find the perfect article for your class. And then you can begin to look through this article in more depth and you can begin to save that into your particular um, folders or you can share this onto Microsoft Teams or Google Classroom. So let's just click on this one particular um, article here. So maybe you've, you're doing a, a project around science. Science is very interdisciplinary. So maybe you want to find articles from chemistry, from physics, from biology. And what you want to do now is you want to click on this favorite symbol. This will then allow you to build up a lesson pack. So you can do this um, around a completely new pack. So you can name it whatever you want. Or you can add this maybe to an existing pack that you've made before. Once you've created a pack and added in your particular content, where that will be sent is up here to your Britannica area. Now I've made a pre, um, I've done a pre-made pack for this example. So I'm just going to click on my resource packs here, and then I'm going to go onto the pack that I've made. So once it loads, I'll be able to show you here IB science example pack. So once you go into your pack, what's really nice is that you can put on specific details such as the grade level, subject, and description. 
And then oh, this is the information that I found around Britannica that's related to this pack and that I want to then share to the students who um, are working from home. And what's really great now is that you can begin to annotate the particular videos or articles. As the International Baccalaureate is very interdisciplinary and it asks for connections between different subject areas, what I've done is picked um, some titles of articles from different subjects, such as physics and chemistry, and also video content as well. And now what you're able to do is annotate this to focus the students on what you want them to learn. Or you can maybe set them particular questions in this annotation here. Or if you want, make a note to yourself just to come back and watch or read this particular article later on. Once you've built up your pack and once you've prepared the lesson content, um, you can then again share this onto Microsoft Teams or Google Classroom so the students can access this pack um, easily. They just need to click on the link that sends them into your area. They don't need to create a particular login to access this. They can do it from any device, from a laptop, from a computer, from a tablet or a phone. And then they can access your notes, answer your questions, and they can watch and read the, the articles or the videos in their own time. So hopefully now what you've seen is a good overview of Britannica and how we can support you as an IB teacher. Um, what we will be doing is supporting your school with free, free access for up to a month. So if you're interested, please leave your details in the Google form below and we'll be able to reach out to you via email or a call, whichever you prefer, and we can set up that access and any particular training sessions that you may need. Thank you very much and thank you for listening to this demonstration.